All right, episode 86, done and done. Yeah. That little intro mishap where I talked about the number, but we're not supposed to do that anymore. It's 2019. New year, new intros. Once again, yeah. Yeah. We also don't talk about ads where we tell you to go buy stuff or support us on Patreon because if you watch us on YouTube, that's in the top left corner. <laughs> so what do we talk about on these intros? What are your favorite things from this episode, Bish? Well, we talked about a few different things. Mm-hmm. Elon Musk is back, finally. Oh, yeah, that, that was a good one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but what was your favorite thing, though? Probably Elon Musk. Yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, I'd say Black Helicopters was mine. Mm-hmm. Alex Jones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we talked about Alex Jones. That wasn't really a topic, but he was a good example for the topic. So. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. And then the Vita. What? The Vita. The Vita, yeah. That's right, the Vita. Anyways, Who listen. knows that? Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. So uh, listen, enjoy, have fun. Here we go. One. Boom, we're back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. This is episode... I thought we were, actually we weren't going to do that anymore. No, no, we're not. We're no, not doing that stuck anymore. In 2018. Yeah, that's 2018, 2019. New year, new intros. So this is your weekly roundup. This has been two months. This is the third month now, man. I know. Yeah, it's true. Well, I'm getting back in the swing of things because we missed uh, that Almost whole three episodes. Or yeah, and then we did one yesterday. Well, no, last week, and then now we're doing this one. <laughs> so I'm I'm still like in that uh, 2018 programming. <laughs> you know, it's okay. like it's like every episode gonna answer like this but now we're changing it okay so this is uh your weekly roundup where we talk about four things we thought were cool from the week as we deconstruct them in the socratic way Mm -hmm. while vish plays video games in the gamer way yeah if you're watching on youtube you'll notice that we're playing apex legends the fortnite killer (laughs) because it's probably the dopest game i i'd have to say that i i like it better than than a lot of games out there right now Okay. Like better than Call of Duty. Yeah, better yeah. than Halo. Yeah, it's got a, a bit more fun to it. Yeah, it, it, it's like, I, I, I like, this is not one of the topics, but I like to, um, what do you call it, link it, or like, analogize, what, what's the word? Make it, relate it to, uh, um, like, if there was a crossbreed between Call of Duty and Halo, it would uh-huh. be this game. Okay. Because you know what I mean? You got the realism, and then you can do like the super jumps, and then like the healing, stuff like that. It's like futuristic, but not too futuristic. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, so uh, first on the dock of Vish, what you got? So, SpaceX. Is that oh, the first. It, of... it wouldn't be a twenty nineteen. Oh, it wouldn't be a Socratic Gamers year without a little bit of Elon. Yeah. So we're back to Elon. All right, cool. So what what's up with Elon? Is it the first one? Yeah, it is the first. This is the first one, bro. Twenty nineteen. When did you leave for the trip? Before New Year's. Uh, yeah. Wait, what? Last yeah. time? No, we didn't do one. Yeah, okay. So we, we never we never talked about Elon. I don't think Elon. we did this one. This is our first Elon. First Elon. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> Enter clap. Now. So SpaceX specifically. Uh-huh. Uh, they did their first. So they have this new Crew Dragon capsule. Crew Dragon. Okay. Okay. So that's like a... Uh, it's the thing that's going to dock with the, uh, the ISS. International cool. Space Station. Oh, no way. Oh, that's cool. Right. But so as of yet, they have not uh, had a manned mission. It's always been... Through the rocket? Yeah. Oh, no way. I didn't They've know They've always had a, other resupply missions to the ISS mm-hmm. and then other satellite missions and things like that that they've done. They have never done yet a... SpaceX, you mean? SpaceX, yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. They have not done a manned crew mission. Oh, okay. Like people in the rocket. Mm-hmm. So, but this one is not, there's no people in this rocket. Oh, so, okay. So they're, they're just still continuing on the, uh, Well, I mean, this is the, you. no, well, they first, before they can do that, they have to first show that the test thing works. True, yeah. So okay, this was the sense. test flight for the Crew Dragon capsule. Oh, and if this goes well, then they'll use this to send people into space and, like, dock them and stuff? With ISS, yeah. They have, they have, con- I cool. mean, they already have people, they have a crew already, so this was the... Uh, inaugural this was, mission yeah this is the test that, and then the next thing is and then I think in June or somewhere in sometime in summer is when they do the actual manned oh that's cool mission to ISS yeah so, so it's like the, the beta launch yeah this is the test flight yeah 
cool. If it fails, then it's not a good sign for SpaceX. True. So anyways, this already happened now. Uh, oh, it's already done. It's already done. Oh, okay, okay. And? And, um... Don't well, tell me it failed. No, it was a huge success. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. All right. Shout so, out but, Elon, yeah. you're awesome. <laughs> okay. Well, it's not just him. It's a bunch of other people from but SpaceX. He's the CEO. You yeah, always yeah, give yeah. the CEO the most credit. Sure. Unless you would say that he's just the face of the company because <laughs> everyone else is doing all the work. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways, continue. So this was also like um, normally the there's an arm that comes from the ISS and connects to okay, any yeah. capsule that's coming in. Yeah, yeah. So this was also done autom- like it was all automatic. Oh, no way. That's cool. Um, yeah. So they had to use the lasers or some things and then kind of align itself and do it all automatically without any help from the ISS. Oh, that's sick. Okay. And it was successful. Nice. Uh, so they're going to do so human, human it, missions. So basically it happened, I think it was early morning or last night when the SpaceX thing happened, the rocket, but it still mm-hmm. took many hours before the thing would dock. So then they had, I think they had a live, it was live this morning around 5 or 6 a.m. To, so you can watch it as it docked with the ISS. Hmm. That's pretty cool. So that happened. And then I saw pictures of now the ISS. You didn't watch it, right, live? I didn't watch it live. Oh, okay. No, because I was kind of asleep. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. And it That'd was live if people were watching it. And then uh, it went. Could you imagine if it blew up? That'd be crazy. It's almost like a UFC fight. Like you wake up in the morning, <laughs> like, how'd it go? You know what I mean? Oh, it, 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 there's always these sort of risks, right? Yeah, that's true. You never know. With these sort of technologies, what can happen in space? Something new they find out that messes up everything, or I don't know. It's weird that it comes down to mathematics. It's all mathematics. You know what I mean? Like at the very end of it, it's like, all right, if the math is correct, it'll work. Yeah. Which I find fascinating. As in this one book, uh, uh, I forgot the title, but they were saying that mathematics is like our third eye. Uh huh. It allows us to see things that we can't see through our own eyes. Right. You know what I mean? So like they can they can see into space mathematically and figure out all this stuff. Mm-hmm. See in the future. Yeah. Anyways, continue. Yeah. So and then uh, I saw the image of um, the people actually like opening the dock and kind of going inside. Oh, that's cool. So that will be up there in space for some time. Mm-hmm. But it'll be docked. It'll re. It'll get uh, resupplied or with or whatever things that need to come down from the ISS. Okay. And it'll be on Friday when it returns back. Nice. Into Earth. Or, or in other words, it falls back into Earth. But they have they can reuse the rocket, right? That's uh, like the special This is not the rocket. This is the, it, no, no, no. The rocket's already back. No, no. Oh, this is the capsule. Right, right, right. That will right, also right. come oh, back. I understand. And you can reuse that, too. Because they're going to catch it in the ocean? What was the number that? No, it'll land. It'll land. It'll ha- it has parachutes. Oh, stuff. okay, okay. So it'll, it lands that way. Oh, that's cool. It's not like a normal rocket. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I wonder what goes on in his mind. But all right, no, you know what? That's actually going to be <laughs> that's actually my fourth topic. My the fourth topic oh, and that's my second topic. Oh, okay. So we'll we'll lead into that a little bit later. All right, all right. But yeah, Elon Musk, you're pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, he did some Like I mean, this is their uh, you know, this has to be successful in order for them to go forward with their next. Right, of course. Yeah, yeah process right so if everything works out it's always good for everybody oh and well for spacex at least investment wise too and like investment. more yeah yeah that's pretty cool true yeah. so is, is that anything else to say on elon uh yeah i mean i think uh, i mean these things are all you can watch them on youtube i watched uh i watched the launch mm-hmm. not live after it was on youtube oh okay yeah <laughs> it was cool to see just, uh, hey, you find thing. that stuff so fascinating. I, I watched it. I was like, it was all right. I mean, <laughs> it, it, I guess, like, what would be boring for you that I like to watch? Well, you like UFC, too, so I don't know. But you, <laughs> I, I try to, to like, I try to, well, what? I tend to find many things entertaining. I know, but I don't. <laughs> I'm a very <laughs> narrow filter. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess it's cool, yeah, if you're into that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like hearing about it. I like you telling me about it. Like, yeah, the yeah, summary's yeah. cool, but I, I would never watch a four-hour launch. Well, I didn't watch it all four no, hours. Of course, of course, <laughs> but, like, even two minutes of it would just, like, I'd be like, well, two minutes is bearable. You usually show me, like, two-minute clips. But yeah. I don't know. Anything beyond that, I'd be like. I mean, it's, always, right. it's, it's cool to see, like, how quickly it goes into space and the amount of I energy guess, yeah. it takes and how fast it's going. 
I just just numbers, but it's just like it's just interesting. But you were always into space shows too, though. Yeah, I was always so, into space stuff. Yeah, I was never really into Galactica. space shows. Star Star Wars, Star Trek. No, Star Wars, not Star Trek. I didn't like Star Trek. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you like that space stuff, anyways. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. So, speaking of uh, speaking of social narratives like that, like uh-huh. enjoying space things. This is that's not a good segue into this though. But, oh, okay. but, uh, <laughs> I was trying to segue in, but like, uh, it's not not really gonna work. Not really gonna work. But um, not this time. ancient legends like Robin Hood and uh, so I've I've been recently like read the Robin Hood tale and the King Arthur tale, mm-hmm. and it's interesting how like contemporarily, yeah, big corporations will hijack these these stories mm-hmm. and then market them more appealing to different generations. Oh, yeah. Yep. You know, because, like, um, Robin Hood was super, super political. Yeah. We didn't know that. Uh, so, like, generally people think of Robin Hood as, like, rob from the rich, give to the poor. But That's the main slogan, that, right? Right, yeah, exactly, right? But, like, if you actually read the thing, he's being he's being paid to some capacity by a different okay. ruler. Oh, okay. So, like... Ultimately, Robin Hood, if you look at it from a business perspective, he's mm. like the pawn. He's like the executioner. Yeah. But he himself isn't really doing anything, like, important. You know, he, he's just like a small drop in the pond. Mm-hmm. We, we hardly ever, ever look at, like, the, the people pulling the strings. Okay. You're like, a good example, like UFC. You're going to see the fighters like, oh, my God, he's an amazing fighter, whatever, whatever. But it's like, who owns the UFC? Who's putting the promotion together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but people, we don't really think of it. The on that level behind the scenes yeah. yeah but i mean there's like levels to that for everything but i find that like these stories are great ways to like indoctrinate people oh yeah I into, think into like a you know what i mean but we, i mean we've been doing that since the beginning of time I, yeah exactly like all religions what right? is the, what is yeah. the purpose of those you know uh campfire stories or stuff like that it's to... to 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 feed your belief system yeah. your mind yeah. with something and then you, you creates like an archetype and then you want to follow that archetype mm-hmm. cuz like so but that's not i mean that yeah that's what happens it's not necessarily it, the intention was they thought this works this is what they did it's just kind of like repetitive you know what i mean yeah no no i i get what you're saying so it's it's either like a uh, innoc uh not innocuous i guess innocuous it, mm-hmm. It's like a, but no, it's benign. It's either benign, like you're like doing it, yeah. but you'd mean you'd mean no harm by it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then there are people that are like marketers, like myself, who mm-hmm. would like, okay, I could just hijack the story then. Like if that's how the brain works, like just, yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like a, a good example is King Arthur. We all think about King Arthur like, oh, sword from the stone, save people. Mm-hmm. The whole general narrative is he was able to like unite Britain under one rule for peace. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. So, like, in it, you don't realize that it's actually a super Christian tale. Mm-hmm. He's, like, his his whole belief system yeah. or his, like, his spiritual backing is based off of Christianity. Mm-hmm. And, like, in that, it's, like, it makes Christianity cool. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, so then all the, all the younger kids are, like, oh, I want to be a Christian, too, because mm. King Arthur's Christian. It's, like, well, we can indoctrinate you that way. <laughs> you right, know what I'm saying? Right, but, like, right. I don't know if that's either like a domino effect that just happened or did somebody plan it? What, what do you think? I think, uh, I, I don't necessarily think they would plan it. It's. You have a kind heart, Vish. <laughs> you have a very kind heart. Okay. I've just given them the benefit of the. The doubt. Yeah, I know for sure. Cause it's like, uh, okay. So like, nest- like, I, okay. Uh-huh. Like, I don't think like, uh, even if, if was someone was involved, maybe someone was thinking that, but I don't know if everyone necessarily right. thought that. Okay. Let, let, let me give let, let me give you like a good Nestle story. Okay. So like Nestle, um, they wanted to sell their baby formula. Yeah. So they went to like Africa, mm. and then they they were like, "Hey, this baby formula is healthier than what you're you're giving your mm. kid." Blah blah. blah. Mm-hmm. But then it got the babies hooked to the formula, and then the mothers stopped producing breast milk. Yeah. So then when they took all the formula away, it's like the there was no way to feed the baby, so you had to repurchase the formula. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? So it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. were they trying to be good out of it, or was there like that motive, that like long term motive? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Right? Like, I so mean, if if they're if they're being, 
I, it's almost like either they're evil or they're dumb, right? Because it's like you didn't think that far ahead, or mm-hmm. you were just being evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? It's possible. And if you're evil, you're a genius because that's a pretty smart move. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's negative when you look at it, but like on the whole, it seems like a very like strategic mm-hmm. and brilliant move, you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Just like, yeah. It's just fascinating to see. And then it makes you start to think about like everything else you see in this. Mm-hmm. Do you think there's anything that doesn't have strings being pulled in the background? Uh, any like like this video game. What do you mean? Like, do you think there's any like marketing, like any like hypnotism going on with this video game, or is there a conspiracy behind? I don't think everything. Was... Not everything, right? Yeah, I don't know. No. Yeah, I don't think so. It's it's hard but to there's, differentiate. But there's there's like but there's like things you could. It, it's not necessarily. Like like a racing game, okay? A like yeah. good example. If you're playing a racing game, you'll see ads for like Coke and stuff, mm-hmm. right? There's like you can YouTube uh, like uh, branding in video games, subliminal yeah. branding. Yeah. So it's like, you know, like you're you have like sometimes you feel like the wool is being pulled pulled over your eyes, and then it makes you think like, is everything like that? Right. You know. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. I mean. I, there could be some, but could be necessarily beneficial to the game. Oh, okay, so like they got more funding because they put those ads inside. Yeah, yeah true. I see what you're saying. So it's like, yeah, no, I get what you're saying. So it's like, it's just an event that happened. It's like us who put the, the story behind it. It's like, yeah. oh, that's pretty nefarious. But it's mm-hmm. like, not really. We just need the funding. It's like, oh, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I see what you're saying. It's a very balanced perspective. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, fun fact. Uh-huh. A lot of what we know today in like Canada as like normal yeah, terms yeah, 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 yeah. are like derived from these old tales. So like Scarborough, where where, where we are originally from, yeah, uh, that was at the end of Robin Hood. He's like, it's like a mythical place, and Robin Hood's like, I'm going to Scarborough, and I was like, what? So mm-hmm. I like had to highlight. All oh, these it. names are all from somewhere. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. fascinating, and like Jason is a is a Greek name. It's like in the Greek um, mm-hmm. lore, mm-hmm. Hope, which is pretty obvious. Like she was mm-hmm. the, yeah. It's just weird because like as I'm reading these, I'm like highlighting specific words. I'm like, oh, I didn't know that that's where that word derived from. Right. You know. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah, it's always interesting to look. I. You know, the look origin up, of things. Yeah, when right? I look up a word on a dictionary, it's like the origin, and then. Oh, you do that? Oh, I didn't know that. I, yeah, I did that just oh. uh, for fun. Like, a, a, another good example is, like, in this video game, there are, like, locations of places. Mm-hmm. The people, what, what are the names again in this game? The character names? Oh, like Gibraltar? Yeah, is it, so Gibraltar is a place. Oh, I have to Google that, actually. Where's Gibraltar from? Do you know how to spell Gibra- Gibraltar? I, I went by Gibraltar. Oh, okay. Oh, so where is it located? In Spain. But Spain, it's uh, Spain. But it's not Spain's, though. It's a colony of, or it's a territory of Britain. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, they own that. And what was the other one? Let's see. Uh, Gibraltar. Not There's... everyone's name. <laughs> but Bangalore, though, is another one. Yeah, I don't think they were thinking that as a... For, well, yeah, I'm just saying it's like all of these things that we, like, take for granted, like, very superficially, mm. it has, like, a huge backstory, mm-hmm. you know? I just find that fascinating. Like, everything builds upon the other thing. It's like a domino effect. Or an evolution. Or an ev- Yeah, that's true. Or an evolution, yeah. Yeah, but isn't evolution just ultimately a domino effect? Then you need to look back, get it, sure. Yeah, twenty twenty hindsight. Yeah. So that's the Steve Jobs. Um, you cannot connect the dots looking forward only when you look back. Yeah. Steve Jobs, R.I.P. <laughs> okay. The genius, genius of our decade, not decade, our century. Anyways. Anyway, yeah. I mean, yeah, I give that now to Elon though, but. Yeah, but you know. Steve's dead. That's why. <laughs> so, like, I mean, sure. what are you going to do? You know? But, like, if, if Elon is using a Mac in his office anywhere, well. Probably. So, really. Or that's the evolution. Yeah. Right? Because he, he took the tools and he mm-hmm. made them other things. Right. Anyways, third topic. What's up, Bish? My topic? Well, related to games. Oh, nice. All right, cool. Is there a new game coming out? Not a new game. Oh. 
Something that has stopped being produced. Fortnite? No. Oh, okay. What? Call of Duty? No, man. Is it something I would know? I thought it was already stopped produced. Or Final Fantasy? Stopped in production. No, no, no. Oh, what? The PS Vita. All right, well, okay. <laughs> I I would have thought that stuff was like I thought it was already. Yeah, I heard, me too. That's, that's like, what I on. said. That's what All I right. said. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. You're you're kind of like it's kind of like oh no. I said it. I I thought it was already like stopped. No, I know, I know. But like saying that is almost like it's almost like a, <laughs> like an expected. It's like sugar will in increase your diabetes. It's like yeah. Right. You know, it's like when you threw yeah. that at me, I was like, what? What PlayStation Vita? PlayStation, <laughs> yeah. There are very hardcore fans that do. What? Really? Yeah. Oh, no. I would never I guess. I would have never guessed. I rarely see it, though, but I, when I do see it, it's like, really? these guys are super hardcore. Yeah. No way. Wow. What do they play on there? There's a bunch of games. I mean, you can also do, I, I believe you can, you know how you do the I'm airplay? I'm so thrown off right now. Like PlayStation Vita. I never expected you to say that. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry, you're saying airplay? Yeah, you know the airplay, you know, copying what's on the phone on the TV or something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. You could do that with the PS4. Oh, that's cool. So, I mean. Through the Vita. Through the Vita. Oh, that's cool. But, I mean. But what games are on there? Uh, Well, I don't. I think they even stopped. People stopped making the games. Though. Oh, really? For a while? I think so. But didn't you say that. It's around the time for a new console. Console, yeah, but this is a, this is a mobile console, right? No, no, I know, but like, they could be they could be like shutting everything down in preparation for the new console. Uh, I I mean I expected this to have happened a while ago because right, of course, their yeah. competition isn't. It's like Dreamcast. It's yeah. like when they're like, oh, we stopped playing. Like, who plays yeah. Dreamcast? It was a sick game. Mm-hmm. It was a sick system, but like. Really? I mean, at the time, Dreamcast. if you got it in the beginning, maybe, but then once, you know, months, I don't know how long it took before people started to, like, S- like realize playing. that there's no need for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for it's sure. It's already sure. lost the, the thing or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know? Is, uh, is PlayStation coming out with anything new? Anything new? Yeah, like, like is there talks of a console or is it just like, oh, oh there's talks the of a console. Oh, really? Of course. Oh, fascinating. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I, my guess is, uh, Again, I I have no evidence of this. Uh, it's not going to be this year. It might either they announce next year and release the end of that year. Next year. Uh huh. Or or it's the following year. After that. Okay. It's not bad. Yeah. Uh, it's they're not doing the same thing. Like so, the reason why PS3 lasted the longest. Uh huh. Because it was also a recession time. Oh. So they didn't have it's there's no way they're gonna put money and make another console drink. Oh, that makes sense, makes sense. Wow. Look at you with the economics. That's crazy. Uh well it's yeah, it's just read about stuff and that's that's how you know. Uh, that's the well that's fascinating. I never thought of it like that. It's like, yeah, that's true. The economics of it would make you not want to invest heavily in a console that might And uh, both both parties did not nobody did, right? Mm. Interesting. Do you think there were backroom deals where they're like, Hey, we're both not going to do this uh i don't know about backroom deals um i just think that they all have the same idea right i think i mean right. you're you're working with the same kind of people smarts or whatever right right, right. uh so anyways uh, yeah they finally ended the production of psv i didn't realize they were selling that yeah I just, you yeah. know it launched back in 2011 well, oh that's a long time mm-hmm. so but they only mm-hmm. sold uh, 16.1 million units. Hmm. Is, that, I don't, I don't know. Is that bigger, big or uh, small? It sounds big. Well, uh, I don't know. Com- I, well, compared to Nintendo and stuff, yeah, it's super small. Like, it reminds me of like, the Nintendo Switch. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, I would never really expect that to be such a hit. The The Switch? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, like, I don't know. There's these, like, periphery consoles that you're just like, Really? That's still going? Nintendo uh, Switch became huge, right? That's a new yeah, one, right? Yeah, but it just came out, right? So, the, I mean, actually, I thought... <laughs> sorry. Um, well, yeah, they had the Wii. Mm-hmm. Then the Wii U came, which didn't work well. Yeah. Which nobody nobody oh, worried yeah, about yeah. that. Then they had to figure out... Do you remember the GameCube? The it was like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. That was another one. I think but they, I But that's it. the thing with Nintendo, though. They, they, they take chances. Yeah. They do weird stuff. 
Yeah, I do. And it works sometimes. I guess. And it works really well that, that they can still continue doing that I, I even if the, the next market. one doesn't do well. Yeah, like, I you know, think so. like, I think in Japan it does really well. They're into that kind of style, you mm -hmm. know, like that like cutesy. Like the yeah, North, the, more, yeah. the North American market is more of like this, what we're playing right now, like mm -hmm. Apex Legends, like hardcore, you know. But like, that's why I didn't really like Fortnite when I first saw it. Like, the gameplay is amazing. But, but it's huge here, though. I, no, no, of course, of course. But like, yeah, I'd say I, that, I, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, first assumption, yeah. I, I yeah, like so. the Western market is more towards like realism, I'd say. Uh, I guess so. Mm hmm. Like, think of all the games. Like, there's no cartoony games anymore. Uh, uh, well, I mean, can we say that? I mean, Fortnite was that success. No, no, of course. Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's like, but what are the numbers in comparison to the rest of the world? So it's like, what country plays Fortnite the most? It's probably going to be an Asian country. I know, man. No, let's, let's Google that. Why? Why? <laughs> what? Why would I? Well, why would it be? Because I'm being... I think it's it's a world game, right? It's a free to play right game. I think it's, the success was because it was free to play. I bet you, I bet you, it's an Asian country. Hold on, which well, country? Well, if we're gonna talk about population wise, you yeah, need to, you, you need to add that into perspective here. Right? Yeah, of course. All right, which country? China. Yeah, they have the biggest population. Though. Oh, China, South Korea, Hong Kong, France. France. See that random France? Why yeah, that's pretty France freaking random. <laughs> Yeah, it's, that's super random. I would never expect it, France. But see, there's no North America. You know, I think in relation. Right. You know, it, it's sort of like when I was in high school because I went to an Asian high school. Yeah. But like I was mm -hmm. I was more into like Caucasian culture. So I bought the Xbox instead of the PS4. Yeah. And all and the Xbox was like filled with sports games and like all that stuff because like Xbox is more Caucasian, right? But then PS4 is more like Asian centric. Which is more like yeah. the cartoony games, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. That's where I'm drawing my assumption. Yeah, from. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can see that. I can see that. Right. Like, but, I mean, if you add population to that, of course they're going to be higher. Right? No, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know if that's necessarily a fair comparison. Well, I don't know how to Google that. <laughs> so, like, in relation to demographics. Well, size, per capita, yeah. I guess you have to look at it like that. So, like, you think that'll come up? Fortnite, which country plays Fortnite? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, you have to look at it. All right, let's, let's Google that right now. You probably so do that the, mathematics uh, on the side. <laughs> which country plays the most Fortnite the most per capita? I doubt you can find wow. that. Wow. All right. But that's the only way you can compare it. How could you say that? Uh, Gates, Russia. If you look at it just numbers only, then it doesn't make sense. Something about Russia and Japan countries in order. No, it's China, India. India's next. Actually, that makes sense, because you can play it on a cell phone. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's another thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Forgot about that cell phone. So it's more like accessible to. Yeah. People. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fascinating. Anything else about uh, PlayStation Vita? Probably gonna buy a PlayStation Vita now, just because we talked about it. No, no I'm not gonna buy. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. Just why? kidding. That's a waste of money. It was more like focused around indie games and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but still. You're a fan of indie games, though. You yeah, like on a console that is also you know, popular. Kind of thing. Yeah, true. Yeah. Do you find that you play this game? This is the hardest part about, like, when you play new games. Because mm -hmm. you, like, you totally forget about the old games. Like, we haven't touched Red Dead in so long. Well, I haven't been. I've only been back. A week, but this game oh, came out true. during the time I was gone. So, so now you're just like catching up on it. Uh huh. You don't think you're gonna? You think you're gonna play? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. Hmm. Maybe. It's with the the same people that I play with. Oh yeah, well, true. Then I'm gonna yeah, be back. Course. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Unless they start playing this game. I mean, they've been doing updates too, so it's not like. True. It's not like the game is done. I'll wait till it gets like super dope, and then you're like, hey, we can buy. Yeah, if you looked at it like right. when when GTA Five came out. Exactly. When they were yeah. telling me it was super lame. There's not much, not much to stuff to do. Yeah, I feel you. But now, I mean, GTA there's a bunch of things to do, so it's still just true, crying. true, true. We'll give it time. We'll give it time. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? That's it, man. That's the end of yours. The PS Vita era. <laughs> Goodbye, PS. PS I, I mean, I had a. Oh, I, talking about. I mean, I, I did well. have. Uh, I got the first one. 
I think I got the first one. Really? The PSP. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you did. You did have the PSP, and you played Uncharted there too, right? No, uh, God of War. It was God, God of War. War yeah. A bunch of other, yeah. yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and you played that. Um, you played that on the bus. <laughs> yeah. And that was a brick though, compared to what it is now. Yeah, true. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, I used to download music on that thing. Yeah, did I. You put movies. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I did Sick. a bunch of stuff at that time. Yep. Didn't have like iPhone or I think iPhone was there, but it was just like not as improved as it is now. I there's something about like hooking up a console to a TV, that's like more. It feels better to me than playing it just in my hands. I feel like the game's gonna be crappier if it's just like handheld. But then I play like I play uh, Final Fantasy VII right now because I'm like, oh, let me just like play it. But like that could easily be on my phone. That is really? on your phone, though. Oh, it is? It is on your phone. No. Yeah, really? yeah. Final Fantasy VII is on your phone. Oh. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense because I was like, wow, the graphics are pretty poor and, like, mm -hmm. I don't need, like, in-depth controllers. Nope. Yeah, so, like, I was like, oh, this could easily... But, see, it's just, like, psychological for me. Like, I feel like it's more fun if I play it off of a console versus... Uh, hey, I mean, you played it off a console. Yeah, well, I've always played stuff off a of console. So. Yeah. Final Fantasy Seven, yes. How about twenty-one dollars? Apple iTunes Store. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there's a bunch of games that have come out. Yeah, but it's like for me, I just feel like phone. It's like doesn't feel like it's control. People feel, like you know. Uh, some people like the mobile. I don't know. It's it's working, I guess. Yeah, I guess it might be working. I have it, no idea. It totally it makes sense in those other countries because, like, your phone is like a dual. Actually, yeah, in those areas, yeah, in Asian countries, yeah, they're huge. Yeah, on yeah. the mobile platform. Yeah, exactly. Because like, a, so. you don't need to buy an excess TV and then. A I mean, that's why there's a. I mean, there's a reason why they make it for the for the phones. Right? Yeah, true. Totally, totally. There's a market. It's funny, how, like we we talk from like a completely Western perspective, but there's an entirely other side of the world with like you know we just don't yeah. even think about it right right it's right. fascinating yeah yeah speaking yeah. of different perspectives mm -hmm. so are you are you done with your ps yeah, yeah, yeah done. Right. uh so i was watching the alex jones one i haven't finished it yet and i know oh, you no. watched a bit of it i watched so, clips from the joe rogan yeah. clips yeah I, got, I, I like that i like that one too uh but anyway so yeah. What, what it made me realize, like, when I was watching it was it's really about the stories we choose to tell ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, like, um, I got to this point and Eddie Bravo said, like, the most perfect thing. And I was like, that's the best thing you could say to anyone in this world. So he says, he says, because he's like, uh, Alex Jones, like, no, you must believe me because it's real. You know, and then Alec, um, Eddie Bravo's like, I believe that you believe it. Mm. And it's like, that's so true because it made me think of like our lives. Like we, all right, so we live in an apartment, right? And then w like three feet between us is another life that's completely separate. We have no idea. And their entire life has been built up of like their experiences, yeah. you know? And it's like the stories they choose to tell themselves. And like, no matter how much you believe something to be true, yeah. if they don't want to believe it, they don't have to believe it. Yeah. And that is the craziness about, like, our world. Mm -hmm. You know, because, like, because, <clears throat> like, even I was caught up in that vacuum of, like, when, when I used to, like, just all I would do is teach martial arts and, like, do the yoga. Because, like, I just yeah. lived in that one suburb. And then after moving to the downtown and, like, getting a job downtown, it's like, oh, people don't care about the same things I was so caught up in. Yeah. You know, you yeah. can you can really live your life in a vacuum, and then you start to think your life is the way it is. Mm -hmm. You know, and then I think it's super important to like integrate with different kinds of people. Okay, yeah, because yeah, it yeah. keeps you like grounded. Because you're like, oh, my opinion really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You know, good good example. Yeah. So like, I grew up listening to like pop punk, rap, general stuff. Like everyone, you know, heard uh, of pop music, heard yeah, of rap yeah, music, yeah. right? And then like. I was like, oh, hey, have you heard of this, this song, this band, this song? And they're like, no. I'm like, what? What do you listen to? And they would say something, and I'm like, what? I've never heard of that person, you know? But it's just because, like, cultural diversity, these different, different spheres. Yeah, yeah. And we forget that all the time, 
You know, you can mm-hmm. be so caught up in your own point of view that you don't realize that nobody really cares about your point of view. True. You know, I have this, I have this young Yoda quote. It's going to, I don't know if I put it out already or well, it's coming out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I, like strangers don't give a point of view. They don't care about your point of view. Is that what you... Oh, well, uh, yeah. I right, said so that the quote is, uh, uh, we care a lot less than we think. Mm-hmm. Right? Because, like, we all say we care. But like not really, but I mean like everyone in general. So like there's always a capacity and a limit to caring because ultimately at the end of the day you'd be alone. I all right. So you care that I care about the dentist, like you know you care that I'm afraid about the dentist. Yeah. yeah. But ultimately you'll never care as much as I care about being afraid of the dentist. Mm-hmm. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So like whatever reality you choose to believe, mm-hmm. it's gonna be you solely believing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like with people like Alex Jones. Well, one, I, one thing that kind of freaked me out was, like, I don't know if Joe Rogan's, like, trolling because he's, like, he seems like he believes Alex Jones, but then he also seems like he doesn't believe Alex Jones. So I'm, like, I don't know if you're just, like, playing up to him. Like, maybe just because they're friends. It's, like, if you have one crazy friend, you're, like, hey, man, whatever you want to believe, you want to believe. You know? right. We're still friends mm-hmm. at the end of the day, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> just, like... Seeing that was like very eye opening because you're like, wow, you actually you actually believe this to the degree. Maybe maybe there are some things that are true, you know, because some stuff he says is true, and it's like, yeah. but it's just fueling your belief of more conspiracies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well, he kind of said it too. Uh, I think in one of the clips, like I think Alex said, like you would get too involved in like a. Uh, like too much into the rabbit hole or yeah, not? for sure yeah it's, that, that's that's kind of what i'm feeling right now like i'm reading so many books that i'm like oh i'm starting to make connections that a lot of people don't see like example the robin hood one mm. i read robin hood but because i've read so many other things in relation to it like marketing and like business wise and like psychology wise it's like oh i know I, I see what's going on here yeah you know but it's like there are like layers to things mm-hmm. you know and like i feel like people like alex jones like what He's he's hit a layer that only he can see. Yeah, yeah. You know, him and a very select few that they can see. And then mm-hmm. they're a giant mass of people that never look into things and they're easily swayed. Yeah. And those are the people that are like, I wouldn't say they're the most dangerous, but they're pretty dangerous. Yeah. Because it's like, you're not going to look into it. You're just going to listen to the loudest person in the room. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. That you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like. That's kind of like how politics goes. That's how like everything goes. Mm-hmm. It's like if you're listening to us right now and you're like, wow, these guys really know what's going on. It's like, no, because you haven't looked into it, bro. Like just rather than thinking we know what's going on, mm. just come to the table with your own opinion of what you think's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it'll be a collaborative effort versus like worshiping, which I find weird. <laughs> you know, like all these people that watch Alex Jones, like he knows the truth. He knows stuff. But it's like, why don't you just read the documents too? That's actually one of the reasons why I read the Bible because everyone's like, oh, the Bible says this, says that. I'm like, all right, does it really? Mm-hmm. So I just read it. I'm like, no, you guys really don't know what you're talking about. Right. Doesn't really say all the things that you're. Like, if you look at like like the Bible that's sold, that's the one I read. Mm-hmm. A lot of it, I find, is like. What, people are referring to are, external gospels, that are not in the Bible but have been recited somewhere else. Mm-hmm. So it's like, so then if we're gonna believe that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, where, yeah. Does it, where does it end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, shouldn't you mm-hmm. just believe the one thing that everyone says is there in truth? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. This is, people are just going to go down these sort of rabbit holes and stuff. I don't know. And then you hit that point where you're just like, why, why do I care? Mm-hmm. But, like, I feel like the more you know, the more you want to be, like, around only people that think the same <laughs> i think yeah that, you know that, what i mean like because it just like irritates you and like yeah or you're just like you just become super polite you're like oh yeah that's like um i saw this quote like where it's like D- uh the quickest way to happiness is not arguing with an idiot mm-hmm. so it's like so the the guru's like oh he tells that to the person and yeah. the person's like i think you're wrong and then the guru goes you're right Right. Because it's like, dude, just leave me alone now. Like, yeah, right. yeah, I told yeah. you what I think. I don't have to argue for what I... You know what it is? I don't have to argue my belief system. Mm. You have the problem 
So you're trying to convince me that my belief system is incorrect. Right, right, right. But you're just insecure about your own belief system. If you were secure, you would just leave me alone. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, okay. Like, exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah. I don't um, know if that sounds callous or... Uh, well, I mean, yeah, you, if you believe in it, you shouldn't be worried about what other people think about it, I guess. Yeah. But I mean, on the whole, so like going back to Alex Jones, he seems like a fun guy. Mm-hmm. You know, like he's so ridiculous, like shouting all the time. So, <laughs> you know, and like, I feel like your belief systems don't, shouldn't make it. All right. I, the best analogy I have is when we were kids, we would argue, right? So yeah. we all have our own different belief system. Yeah. But then we just play basketball because it would be like, your belief system doesn't matter because it's all in your head. So just focus on things that are, bring you enjoyment. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. you were Hindu, I'm Catholic at the time. So it's like, if we were to be caught up in who's right and who's wrong, we wouldn't be playing basketball. No. You know? And that's that's where I feel like like um, belief systems get really murky. Yeah, it causes conflict. Right? Like, yeah. like, why are we arguing? Especially if it comes down, well, it's about to be, like, religiously political, but especially when it comes down to, like, religious things, it's like, why are you arguing so much mm-hmm. over, like, something you're one reading like third hand third party right like you're you're like you're not even really reading it you're Uh like hearing from other people yeah yeah, yeah. and two it was so long ago so it's like true we've evolved as a species i think some of us have but i I feel like yeah it's true i feel like there's a place for religion still though you know no, no, i i mean not some people can't handle it yeah i know yeah some people you, it, you know a good example so i i was i was listening to this conversation with these people they were talking like oh religion's good religion's bad like you know they're having this like argument about religion oh no, no about it being bad just uh-uh. strict, strictly being bad yeah and then i was about to go like i was about to go but it's important for other people because some people can't carry the burden of their own choices yeah Right? That's ultimately what religion does. Like, you just push it onto God. Mm-hmm. You know, like any problem you have, push it onto God. Yeah. So, but then I was like, yeah, but this is, you're like stuck in your own belief system. Why would I attempt to have this conversation with you? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like, what, what good would that bring? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless we were like working on the same project or like we were a part of the same basketball team. You know, it's, it's mm-hmm. like, if, if it mattered, yeah, but then you meet those other people that feel like they should push their. Uh, actually, guilty. I used to be like that, but they feel like they have, like push their opinions on other people mm-hmm. because they believe that they're right and everyone in the world should believe they're. Yes. You know. Yeah, they should just start a podcast and nobody can listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like it's like pick and choose. True. Yeah. If you, yeah. If you want to listen to, it, if you agree with what we're saying, you're gonna listen to this. But if you don't agree, you're just not gonna listen. To yeah, it. you're not. Yeah. So it's like, it's like, uh, no pressure. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. That's that's just the that was just something that I was thinking about because right. that Alex Jones podcast. It's fun actually. Oh, and uh, sorry, I'm looking at, the, looking at my notes, and um, well, one thing that I I liked from this other podcast for Asahabi, you you know that thing that's like. So, like, we, everything's a belief system, right? Uh-huh. Like, even saying this is a belief system. Yeah. Like, even saying that, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, where yeah. the whole thing we just talked about was a belief system, mm-hmm. okay? There's only one thing that we know to be true in this world. What's that? And it's, I think, therefore, I am. hmm Because all that that statement is saying is the sheer fact of thinking means that you are mm-hmm. here. But everything else is an illusion. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. your awareness of this conversation is the only thing you know that's real. Mm-hmm. But the things we talked about are not real. The environment's not real. You know? Because oh. it's, it's going towards your cerebral cortex. Right, right, right. Right? Like, like everything has to pass through your cerebral cortex mm-hmm. and into your brain. Right. And that's what makes it, quote, unquote, real to you. Mm-hmm. But it's still an illusion because if if it were all right so if it were real if it were true it would be unchangeable so you're like oh my my hip hurts right then you shoot some like numbing agent into it and doesn't hurt anymore so it's like okay is that so then the pain's not real 
Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but but that's why I like that line where it's like, I think therefore I am is the only real truth we know because it's talking about awareness. Mm-hmm. If you are aware of something, that's the only thing you know that's real, that you are aware of it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like what's directly in front of your field of like awareness? You, yeah. You know, the properties of what you're witnessing are mm-hmm. not real. But the fact that you're witnessing something makes it real. Like the dog who just barked over something that was not real. <laughs> <laughs> but he thought it was real. Yeah. I, I honestly wonder how many, like, like, you and I have known each other for so long, and we've, like, talked like this for so long. It's so, like, when I say things, like, sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but I see something super clearly, and then you're like, no, I see it too. Yeah. That's why I enjoy your company. But then, like, I have this hard time with a lot of people where it's like, you know what I'm saying? They're like, I don't get it. Or sometimes <laughs> they get really, like, baffled. They just turn it off. Yeah. And you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. okay. And you're like, oh, man, you think I'm crazy now. You just don't see it, though. Yeah, I know. I mean, what can you do? Yeah. Not everyone's in the same boat. I don't know. But then, see, there's the levels, and it's like, one person thinks the other person thinks I'm crazy you think I'm sane yeah right but it's just like what belief system are you operating under mm-hmm. and how long have you been operating under that belief system yeah you know because mm-hmm. you have like levels to it too there are people that agree with what we're saying but they don't really understand what we're saying you know what I'm saying like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. They'll be like, yeah, you're speaking the truth. Like, all right, now, now repeat it back to me. And they were like, no, 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 explain it to me. And they repeat exactly what you said back to them. Oh, yeah. Back to you. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll be like, you'll be like, oh, consciousness is made up of signals that come from your, sp- your cerebral cortex to your brain. Okay. All right. And you're like, okay, if you actually understood that, explain it to me. Right. Mm-hmm. And then they'll just say, "Oh yeah, because consciousness is just built off of your cerebral cortex." That goes, and you're like, "No, I, I just said that." But to truly explain it, it'd be like, "Well, signals that come from you know, you explain it in a different way, but you're getting you're getting to the same end same, through a different means. That means point, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't even know. We're so lost in this deep rabbit hole right now. But <laughs> half of the people are gonna be like, "I get it." The other half are gonna be like, "I don't get it." And then like. 0.001% are like <laughs> yeah. the hell's going on I know right no actually that's going to be the majority just 0.001 are going to like actually understand what we're saying oh god yeah anyways belief is a tricky thing a very strong yeah very yeah I don't it's yeah it's hard to, if someone really believes in something it's hard to change that yeah that's oh yeah yeah that's true yeah, because no one could change my belief system of what I've created right now. Yeah. Like, no, I, I know this for a fact. For myself, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, I don't know if you know what I know, <laughs> as I'm sure I don't know what you know. Yeah. You know. that's I think that's what creates equality, where it's like, you know that you don't know certain things, and they know that they don't know certain things. Mm-hmm. But when you're like, when you start to get into classism, where it's like, I'm better than you because I know this, that's a Yeah, little, that's problematic yeah i kind of feel like i've done that though <laughs> yeah. so, multiple i feel like i don't know i don't think i intended it but it's just like it happened it, uh. because it's like it's like you're like explaining one plus one equals two and it's like no this is this is correct like mm. you all right a good example somebody's like oh i felt an angel touch me on my shoulder okay uh-huh. it's like it's like yeah you you made yourself believe that you um, had the angel touch me on the shoulder. It's like, no, no, there's actually an angel there. Right. But it's like, no, but I know that on the deeper level that if you weren't aware of anything, there would be no angel. So it requires your awareness in order for the angel to be real. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But like, and then they go into like, you can't always be right. But it's like, no, but I am right. But I didn't intend to be classist. I'm just correct. Mm-hmm. Like, if, if you had no awareness, like if if you were a paraplegic, right? Could you still feel the angel touch you on the shoulder? Right. Yeah. No. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. no. So you need the awareness 
So the sheer fact that you were aware of it means that you've created it in your own mind. Mm-hmm. Even if it really was an angel, it could have been like something else. You're just creating the story of the angel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I just feel like I'm like just like going so deep. I was like, I'm not I, got, even like, I got it. I yeah. got it. Yeah, trippy. Anyways, mm. interesting podcast. Yes, we're gonna watch. Um, we're gonna watch. What's that movie that's coming out Friday? Captain Marvel. Yeah, so we'll probably do a podcast of that next week. You can skip over our craziness. Mm-hmm. Although I might, I might end up going deep on the Captain Marvel. Depends on what right. I see during the movie, but look forward to a movie review next week. Mm-hmm. So that should be good. Are you excited for the movie? Uh, yeah, I've been hearing it's good. Really? Oh, it's already out. Mm, early Previews? reviews or something. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Looks cool. Yeah, I'm stoked. Captain Marvel. It's good to see like women empowered. It's, I'm an SJW. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I threw that out there. I just felt like felt like it. That one came to be out said. of nowhere. I, I felt like, like it needed it. to be said. You know. Like, yeah, but it just felt weird. No, because we all right. So we have Black Panther, so we're like celebrating minorities. Yeah. Then we have, you know, um, Crazy Rich Asians, so it's like the Yellow Panther, and like we're <laughs> celebrating more minorities. And then now where we have the uh, Captain Marvel, who's actually a girl, so it's like another mi- minority. It's like the Year of Minorities. We had Wonder Woman. Yeah, but she's DC. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Aquaman, DC. No, I'm Take not saying game. that. I'm just saying DC. Well, Wonder Woman was better though. I didn't like it. I liked it. Really, you did? Mm. Yeah, Women in Power. <laughs> True. Actually, you know what's funny? DC came before Marvel, just like Greeks came before Romans. So when I'm like Women Empowered, it's like no, but DC did it first. <laughs> like you just said Wonder Woman, and I'm fixating on Captain Marvel. Yeah. Marvel does it better. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta get it. Right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just like I can't disagree with that. You know, you know, Hercules is the Roman name. Heracles was the Greek Greek name, but we all know Hercules. Romans did it better. (laughs) That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Evolution. Domino effect. See how I circled back on that one? Sure. All right. Any any final thoughts? Yeah. Well, what's up? Uh, actually, nothing. I don't <laughs> no, know. No, I was going to say, I got no final thought. I think we went super deep on that one. At least I went really deep where I was just like confirming that. Yeah, I, I took a lot crazy. of energy. I was like, I was like, I was falling along. That's why I kept saying, yeah, a lot. And yeah. Like, you I, understood, right? I got it. Yeah, I yeah. got it. But I had to make sure I wasn't crazy. So I was like, all right, you got to tell me I'm not crazy right now. And you're like, yeah, you're not. I'm we're all crazy. Though. That's true. Belief systems. <laughs> all right. Until next time, watch that Alex Jones podcast. It's a good one. Yes. It'll trip you out, though. There's that one line that made me laugh. Yeah. I haven't hit that yet. You haven't hit that yet? Yeah. I don't know, yeah. It jo- made Joe Rogan laugh. Oh, really? Fell off his chair. Oh, really? Oh. I don't know. Was he acting it? I don't know. That's what I'm saying, you know? <laughs> that's that's the, one of the conspiracies I'm feeling right now. I'm like, is Joe Rogan putting this all on as an act? Or he's either like a really... I mean, how many? he's done this so many times. Like, is Can he be For this sure. good? But... So I don't know. I'm like on the fence right now. I don't know if Joe Rogan was once crazy and then he became woke and now he's like, oh, well, he I'm knows to he was crazy. Everyone. That's what I'm saying. Or he's, he's like dull. he's using this as a means to make himself more popular. You know, like nobody put Alex Jones on. Let me put Alex Jones on. No, there's other people that put Alex Jones. Oh really? Yeah, I've seen a lot of different ones. Yeah. But like he's like. But there was goading, a lot of things like happening. Him, though. He's yeah, like, but were, yeah, but like, yeah, true. Tell they're also more, like drinking like, and stuff. And yeah, so, that's true. So you can't really. I know, but like when you watch it, you're just like, I'm like. You should be drinking too, then. I am. Well, yeah. Well, I was. Oh. I was something else. That's why I was tripping out hard. <laughs> I was like, "Is this real right now? What's going on?" Because he's saying some crazy stuff as if it was real, all right. and I was like, "All right." I have a sane mind to be like, well, where's the evidence? <laughs> but I could imagine so many people, the oh, sheep yeah. being like, oh, it's so real. He's yelling it, so it must be real. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. You know, he's like, he's like, they, they'd ask him, like, well, how do you know that? He's like, declassified. Decla- I like, know. Where's the evidence? Like, what? Come on, bro. And he's like, this it is top enough. secret 
stuff I can't talk about. <laughs> I can't tell you my source. So it's like, okay, what? At least he believes that we went to the moon. True. I mean, he's he's got to sprinkle. You know what that is? <laughs> you sprinkle in some truth with some fiction, right? And then it makes you even more believable. Yeah, that's true. That's right? very yeah. Because you're like, well, well, that was real though. So yeah. what else was real? Look into it. <laughs> Black helicopters. You know what I mean? Like right. By by putting some truth, it forces you to believe. It's it's like a mind trick. It's like marketing. You know, mm-hmm. it's like the the sum of the truth makes you be, want to believe all of it, or at least look into it. And then there are yeah. multiple times there. He's like, "If you want to know the truth, go to Infowars.com, buy something from my shop." Oh well, yeah, he has a hard time though now. Yeah, yeah, true, because they like kicked him off and stuff. Yeah, everything. Yeah. So he. This is the way to do it for him, at least. To yeah, true. Promote it, I guess. I don't know. True. Like it's really bad for him. It sucks <laughs> for him. Yeah, for sure, for sure. He, All platforms. Gone. Like he's. It's hard. It's so yeah. He yeah, was, we're like in a digital world, man. Like you need platforms. Yeah. Like I mean, that's how they kill you, though. That's how they're for doing. sure. Yeah. He can't get any more. Like new audience is not happening for him. Yeah. No. It's like that's yeah. If you actually think about how how much we rely on digital, it's like you're dead if you're not. If you don't make any noise digitally, mm-hmm. you're dead. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like that's for everything, though. It's like. If you want to move up in your career, if you want to start your own business, if you want to do something, you have to always be digital because that's where the yeah. world is now. Yeah. You know? But then it gets sad when you start to see like other things like people doing anything for like attention. I'll tell you I'll tell you a story after after the podcast done, but Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a good time. All right, so stay tuned for next week's episode. Review. Movie, movie review. Movie review. Yeah. All right. Take it easy. Nice. Bye. Peace.